it to the end. We're at closing day. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, closing day is a great day. But don't forget the final walkthrough. A final what? Mm-hmm. Final walkthrough. Let's find out what it is, how you prepare, and what you should be looking for. Come with me. Got one going on right now. Hey, Emily Farber with Leopard Krieger Realtors in Iowa City, Iowa. Thanks for joining me. Today's video is all about the final walkthrough. All right, buyer friends, the final walkthrough is your chance to make sure that the property you fell in love with, wrote an offer on, and are about to spend some money on is in as good as or better condition than when you wrote that offer. Probably you had the home inspection and maybe there were some remedy requests that you negotiated with the sellers. It's important during the final walkthrough to make sure that those remedy items were actually taken care of by the seller. Sometimes it's hard to determine if some of that remedy work has been done. For instance, maybe you're not an electrician and you just can't look at that electrical panel and be able to tell if something's been done. No worries. Your realtor should have copies of paid invoices showing the work completed as agreed upon in your remedy request. When you're at the final walkthrough, there's a couple different purposes. First, you're making sure that the house is empty and reasonably clean. Now keep in mind, clean is subjective. Everybody has a different definition of what is clean. In our local market, our contract specifies broom clean, which means eh, pretty much clean. It's not gonna be spotless. It may not be the, the way you want your house to look when grandma is coming over, but it shouldn't be gross either. Is the house empty? Is there junk in the garage? Is there junk in the basement? If there is still stuff laying around, that stuff is about to become yours. If you are not okay disposing of the previous owner's stuff, you need to make it known now and request that it be removed or you're gonna need some cash in order to help pay for your dump run. Another thing you'll want to check during the final walkthrough is that the property is in comparable condition as to when you wrote the offer. There's been no major changes. Take a look at those walls, especially in the hallways and stairwells. Sometimes damage can occur upon move out. It's unfortunate, but if it happens, that's on the sellers to fix it and fix it right. Check all of the appliances. Turn on the stove, the oven, the microwave, check the refrigerator, the ice box. You want to make sure that your appliances are operating properly. Flip on the faucet and turn it to hot. Make sure you've got plenty of hot water. While you're at it, go downstairs to the basement and look at the water heater. Make sure it's not leaking. Operate all of those water fixtures. Run the faucets, turn on the showers, flush the toilets. Again, we're just ensuring proper operation and no unexpected leaks. Check out your HVAC system. Is the air conditioner and the heater running properly. Now keep in mind you're not going to be able to check that air conditioner if the weather is cold. Make sure you try the garage door. Does it roll up and roll down properly? Are the garage door remotes available or will you be expecting them at the closing table? Take a look at your contract while you're there too. Make sure that all of the fixtures and personal property that you expected to convey with the home is still there. For instance, did you ask for window treatments? Are they still there? What about that garage freezer? Is it still there? Real estate is a highly regional business and oftentimes we find that people do things differently in different markets. Here in the greater Iowa City market, we tend to do our final walkthrough as close to closing as possible. That way we can best guarantee our buyer clients that when they walk through that house, do their final walkthrough an hour before closing, that nothing will change between then and closing. If you do the final walkthrough a couple days before closing, who's to say that water heater might crap out? Sometimes if you have an early morning closing scheduled, for instance, an 8 a.m. closing, it may not be realistic to expect to have a final walkthrough at 7 a.m. depending upon people's schedules. In cases like that, it would not be unusual to do the final walkthrough the day before. 
So what happens if something unexpected and unpleasant comes up during the final walkthrough, especially if it is right before closing? Well, there are a few options. You can delay closing, you could cancel closing, or you could ask for money. Most sellers are not going to want to delay or cancel closing, so the most likely outcome is that you will be offered money to handle whatever the problem is. Hey friends, thanks for joining me. I hope you found this video about the final walkthrough to be helpful. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and pro tip, don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll be notified every time I put out a new video, which is, by the way, every Friday. If you need to get a hold of me for any sort of real estate advice, I'd love to talk to you. All my contact information is in the description box down below. And I will catch you next time.